You're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? It was, but that was before I was expelled. Now, it's that girl who used to go here. What was her name again? All one word. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bring up any sore subjects. <laughs> Who's sore? Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. Yeah, no thanks. I'm more of a burger a la king kind of gal. She's funny, this one. I'm aware. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, <laughs> Mrs. Amber. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Totally. <laughs> your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. And Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know... That I would normally say. Exactly. Just some quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong? Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. <gasps> oh, I think that's an original who gives a shit. I wonder if this is a family heirloom. Everything about this house is nicer, cleaner, better, and more expensive than mine. Which isn't saying much, but still. How many cabinets do you need? So this is what normal looks like. It's somehow way more boring and way weirder than I imagined. It's crazy to picture Rachel growing up here and being happy here, at least 
before she met me. And now I'm taking her away. <laughs> or is she taking me away? This doesn't really seem like the kind of place people run away from. <laughs> what am I saying? Fuck this place. Easy to see who wears the literary pants around here. Guess some families actually go to Paris instead of just talk about it their whole lives. Holy shit. That's the guy who attacked Drew, and I'm holding on to a grand of his money. Rachel and I couldn't be leaving town soon enough. I bet there's like not even a single Cheeto stuck in this thing. Doing the play was bad enough without having to read about it afterwards. Hope Drew's okay, though. Hmm. How to clear browser history, followed by a gap for all of yesterday? That's like cheating asshat 101. Poor Rachel. They say all news is local, but damn. It's like a thousand times more skeevy when the skeeviness is all polite to your face. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? So, you're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. So, I can call you if I'm ever district arrested? What would you be arrested for? It was a joke. Not a good one, clearly. Your daughter's pretty great. Thank you. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like she's so awesome at everything that you just want to shake her? Yeah. Uh, uh, me neither. What do you think? I thought Rachel was perfectly cast. She certainly was. We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it, uh... Reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, I just meant the wizard part. Ah, uh, I suppose that's also true. Duty calls. <laughs> Good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. Rachel and I both had great childhoods. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. What the Amber family considers entertainment looks a lot like what I consider homework. Solved it. Mm -hmm. 
Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. Can't tag this while Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. If I open this, will skeletons come spilling out? No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. So clean. I bet Rose would kill it with my mom at the diner. Hi, Rose. Your husband's cheating on you. Pass the ketchup. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. So, uh, Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. Yes, she was. Though, to be fair, she's pretty awesome every night. I wish I were half as driven when I was her age. Me too. <laughs> I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can see why the two of you get along so well. You can? Because it still seems crazy to me. Integrity, honesty, loyalty. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being an elected official's wife. Those are some strong words. You think he lives up to them? He's fantastic at what he does. Of course, he's only human. Or subhuman. What? What? I, I thought you said something. Uh, nope. So, you putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could. Never mind. You're a riot, Chloe. Alright, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. It's off to the table with you. Yes, Chloe? Plates, check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Something else? What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two.
two, three, Sherry. Comical. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I were worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. And you were all too eager to play into our expectations. In my experience, that's a tactic people use to cover for someone else. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh, thanks. Glasses. Damn, the ambers are fancy as shit. Never realized that getting drunk could be so complicated. Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. It's the triangle-shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. <laughs> right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I think. Time to light some candles and bust this joint up a bit. <laughs> Finally, Mrs. Amber has her back turned. <sighs> Time to fix this photo. Got it. It's a liar! It's a liar! The Amber family and fire. 
What could possibly go wrong? So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? Not since this morning. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. Nah, that's cool. <sighs> We're not. What about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Uh, it's almost surreal. They say a fire like that could only come from a crime of passion. Passion? What does that mean? I don't know. You tell me. Because you're the DA, of course. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Enough of this asshole. Rachel may have to take it, but I don't. I'm going to turn his daughter and wife against him at his own dinner table. <clears throat> I'm not sure I agree, James. Oh? I thought you of all people would be grateful for family, at least. Gratitude seems like such a nice luxury. I can't say I've had the privilege to afford it. That is an excellent point, Chloe. We must always be sensitive to the way our privileges shape our perspectives. Well said, Mom. Still, there must be some room for personal responsibility. I'm sure you agree, Chloe. When my mom's boyfriend talks about responsibility, it's always code for him trying to control other people. Guess that's why they teach it in the army. See? This is why it's so important to invite diverse voices to converse with one another. It's absolutely stimulating. Hmm. Highly stimulating. Since you have answers for everything, Chloe, Perhaps you'd like to enlighten us with some of your hard-earned wisdom about the world. Sure. I believe the entire world is a simulation to keep us complacent while machines harvest our energy like a, a giant battery. I call the simulation Sleepy Battery Planet. I'm confused. Yes. Chloe, I believe your point was a bit too veiled for me to understand. Are you suggesting that I'm using some sort of incognito mode where I can keep my activities hidden? That's crazy. Excuse me? How dare you talk to me like this? Talk to you like what? I don't understand. Yeah, Dad. What is Chloe talking about? Nothing. It's her whole... attitude. You're so right, Mr. Amber. I forgot that women should always be quiet and respectful and let the men do all the talking. 
Perhaps we can talk later as we clear the table and wash the dishes. Don't worry, Mr. Amber. I can tell that my progressive attitude is not welcome in this house. I'll see myself out. James, Chloe is right. You owe her an apology. I owe her no such thing. I believe she is willfully acting belligerently just as she did this morning. It is how people like her respond to adversity. People like her? So we're profiling now? This is what eight months in the DA's office has taught you. I resent that. My office is committed to fair and equitable treatment. Yes, I've read the press releases. Excuse me? Are you calling me a hypocrite? Ha! <laughs> huh. Rachel! I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad! You're a hypocrite! Okay? I know! You lying, cheating, piece of shit, motherfucker! Excuse me? We saw you, yesterday, at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. That's enough! You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you, and I let my wife's compassion get the better of you. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying! Stop being a politician for one fucking minute! Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Shadows settle on the place that you left Our minds are troubled by the emptiness Destroy the middle, it's a waste of time From the perfect start to the finish line and if you're still breathing, you're the lucky ones Cause most of us are heaving through corrupted lungs Setting fire to our insides for fun Collecting names of the lovers that went wrong The lovers that went wrong of us are bitter over someone setting fire to our insides for fun to distract our hearts from ever missing love but I'm forever missing him and you caused it
Shit! 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 